Resident Evil 4 could be possibly teased this month for a gaming event and fans including myself are eagerly waiting for the smallest bit crumbs from Capcom. With Capcom announcing their new IP Pragmata and the newest Street Fighter, fans are curious if Resident Evil 4 Remake could be released this year or early next year. Leaks have suggested that Resident Evil 4 Remake could be announced this year early and get released in early 2023 or late 2022. That's currently most of the release date leaks that we do know of at the time of this recording. But today guys, we're gonna be going over the possibility of Resident Evil 4 being revealed this month now if that interests you then please drop a like subscribe if you guys are new and put notifications on guys and let's get into this video all right guys so we have a lot to unpack here and i'm going to be giving you guys my thoughts and my honest opinions why i think rising evil 4 has a chance of getting revealed this month or in june when e3 comes around now i'm going to be giving you guys all the details you need to know now resident evil 4 could be revealed this march sony is planning to have a state of play Sony's state of plays in the past have always shown off new games coming to PlayStation exclusively and universally to other platforms. One to mention would be Resident Evil 3 Remake's reveal. This was on December 10th, 2019. To top it all off, I think one of the earliest leaks that we ever got for Resident Evil 4 that was Resident Evil 4 Remake was supposed to be a PS5 exclusive for a timed period, but I don't think that's going to happen. I know it seems very likely because if this does get revealed at a state of play, then that would pretty much connect one to another. But I don't see this happening because I don't think Capcom would lose out on that amount of money. Uh, to top it all off, we can definitely see that Capcom and Sony have a very good history of releasing their games, or I'm sorry, revealing their games on their, uh, pretty much their events. Unfortunately, guys, before I do continue on with this video, I just want to preface that I'm going to give you guys a trigger warning. I think that's how people say it, a trigger warning. I'm going to be talking a little bit about the Ukrainian and Russian war. I'm not going to be going in depth. I'm not a news reporter and I don't cover this kind of content on this channel. So pretty much with the events that are happening in Ukraine and Russia right now, Sony might delay their state of play event and that's according to leaks and rumors. Again, nothing of any kind in this video is confirmed by Capcom or Sony. This is coming from leaks and rumors. But this could be delayed to a further event or to a later date. One more thing before I do continue on. There's one thing that I really do want to mention. Resident Evil 4 could just be delayed till 2023 and have that 2024 release date. But I don't think Cap that's something that Capcom wants to wait. But I don't know. This, this just boggles my mind. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Resident Evil is not only their only franchise you know and i understand that and it's probably one of their more successful franchises you know this this game or i'm sorry this franchise and street fighter have been around for as long as i've been alive pretty much right so i know street fighter is probably one of their more successful but low bounded franchises if that makes sense it's like one of their more Spin-off, not 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 spin-off, but it's more of their like, hey, we'll do this once in a while kind of games, you know? It's not something that they're gonna release annually. So what I'm trying to say is Capcom's main cash cow is the Resident Evil franchise. With Pragmata being their new IP, I'm get, I'm thinking they want to give that game the main spotlight, right? With Street Fighter 6 being their backup just in case that franchise does not do very well because it's a new franchise that they're starting and according to the leaks that i've already mentioned resident evil 4 remake was supposed to be revealed early 2022 but i think things shifted at capcom to the point where they had to pretty much come out with street fighter they chose street fighter instead of resident evil 4 i don't know why this would be the case obviously resident evil 4 would do numbers for them but street fighter is something maybe they want to try out and come back to 
don't get me wrong resident evil is a very successful franchise and i think with resident evil 4 being one of the greatest games of all time and that's what a lot of people can agree with me on it is one of the greatest games of all time and i think they still need more development time to perfect this game because they know that this game is going to be numbers for them numbers so i think to accommodate for that they're releasing street fighter 6 and the new pragmata i think that's just something that lingers in my mind a lot and i wanted to mention that to you guys in this video and again i'm not trying to diss uh the new street fighter because i've never played a street fighter game in my life i think i played it in, uh, on arcade games back in like a couple years ago i can't really remember at this time <laughs> but i know i've played a couple street fighters uh but yeah guys that's pretty much gonna have to wrap up today's video i hope you guys definitely did enjoy and let me know what you guys think of my opinions if you guys agree if you guys disagree uh let me know down in the comment section below but other than that i will catch you guys in the next video thank you guys so much for watching and later